Fallout is continuing in the mainstream comic book industry from the comic shop owner who posted about uh, the mainstream comic pros being lazy, writing self-inserts. You know, it was basically a commentary on the woke crowd that has destroyed the comic industry over the last several years. What happened was a bunch of comic pros tried to pile on him and actually throw a bunch of shade at him. A bunch of their simps came and did similar. This guy's just a comic shop owner and his business is down. These people are going at him uh, instead of correcting the problem, uh, perpetuating all the problems in the industry. It's really disgusting. I've seen your boy Zach actually make a bunch of posts about it and he's done a good job calling this out. Uh, I really appreciate him doing this on behalf of a comic shop owner. It's good stuff. But now Mark Miller has put himself into the fray, and he's actually doing a good thing in defending this guy, and I'm very excited for what's to come here. This is neat stuff, and Mark Miller really has embarrassed everybody with just his professionalism, like he usually does, uh, because he's just better than everybody else in the industry at the end of the day. Let's get into the news in just a moment. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. This is my top grift, and it is not a grift, guys. It is a really good comic. Uh, of course, I've written a ton of books myself. I deliver uh, very quickly, and this is going to be coming out early next year to you guys. And it's, of course, we've only got about nine days left on this. I don't keep these open for a long time. So this is going to be a very rare book, and it's actually drawn by DC's Injustice's Mike S. Miller, not Mark Miller. Mike Miller. <laughs> and uh, he's a really excellent artist as well. So this is one of my top tier books, top tier writing, top tier art. It's going to be a beautiful thing and it's coming out very, very soon. So I'm going to put this link in the description below for you. Get in on this before it's gone, my friends. Uh, if you want to support great indie comics that aren't self inserts, uh, this is something that you should check out here. So here it is. Mark Miller responded. Uh, he's going to be bringing Glenn on to his uh, Miller time YouTube channel, uh, which I can't wait to watch this. This is going to be a must-see YouTube for me. Uh, Glenn is a comic shop owner, and of course, I've found Glenn's YouTube channel also. He's got full videos about comics. The guy really cares about the industry at the end of the day, and these people who are savaging him on Twitter are just doing terrible things to him. Uh, shame on you, Jamal Eigel. Shame on you, Donny Cates, uh, for trying to perpetuate that because you guys, uh, I guess, you thought that he was talking about you. Uh, putting in your self inserts. Uh, it seems like you self identified your own problems there. So, uh, all I've seen is guys pile on him for expressing legitimate concerns about his business. And I hate people being bullied. I look forward to a proper chat and hearing his story in depth. That's so fantastic. So, uh, somebody else commented, Good on you, mate. He's being vilified for his honest, passionate opinion on something he clearly loves American comics. I mean, he's got a whole business around it. I love them too. I'm reading a fraction of what I used to. We want good stories and compelling characters. Mark Miller says exactly the same here. Uh, Pablo says it's important to hear retailers' perspectives, mainly because I'm sure the feedback has come from readers also vent in frustration. Yeah, if you've looked at how these uh, people like Donny Cates have treated their readers over the last several years, people vent their frustrations on Twitter, and Donny's used to be very active on Twitter. I don't know anymore. But he blocks people. He berates them if they have opinions on the mainstream comic industry, which are nothing less than stellar and positive. That's the problem with uh, a lot of these people who get into these positions. It's a big clout structure. And what happens is they just get adored with praise, and they just get people simping over them over the years because they, they write Spidey Man. And so uh, they, these people uh, want to be closer to the guy who writes Spidey Man. And so there's a lot of like access things there, and these guys get inflated egos because of this. When comic shop owners tell the truth, and by the way, it's not just this guy. I mean, I've talked to comic book show shop owners who are plugged in, who are friendly with these people, and they're expressing the same thing behind closed doors that this guy says openly. It's just a, a secret that you're not allowed to do this. Otherwise, you don't get the signings coming to your stores and things, things like that. Uh, but everybody's agreeing with this at this point. Um, this guy says, Mark, how is it that you managed to be fair and decent to this man, yet so many others in the business who spend all day tweeting about being kind have been horrible to him? This is really interesting because, again, all these people are like, oh, make America kind again. They always do this stuff uh, complaining about Donald Trump's tweets back in the day, and, of course, that's where they all kind of went off the rails and deranged. They always claim everybody's harassing them. They always claim everybody's uh, abusing them. Heather Antos, I'm looking at you, IDW Comics. Uh, but they incite people uh over and over again as part of their like sort of like cynical marketing structure and this is exactly what they do and then when they get pushed back they act like they're the victims it's really sad i like this guy's take thank you for being a voice of reason the comic book industry badly needs at this point yes it is uh miller says 
an observation I made a while ago. Anyone who virtually signals in their Twitter bios, I love this, especially the be kind people, is a sociopath. It's like serial killers having a never dismember anyone in their bios to throw us off the scent. He's 100% right. That is what virtue signaling is. I'm, you know, I'm, M Miller's getting really close to where he's going to start having problems with these people. I guess he's big enough to where it doesn't matter. But like, I mean, he has gone at them and told the truth repeatedly. And you're seeing, uh, I, I think people might be scared of him because he's got enough clout at Netflix or whatnot that like he hasn't been canceled yet. But I'm very, very surprised. Like I have not uh, seen a lot of uh, hate directed towards him. And I hope he doesn't get any because he's doing the Lord's work here, to be honest. And so uh, I really appreciate what Mark Miller's done. What he's done is just embarrassed everybody in the comic book industry because those people are doing poor work. Uh, they're not working very hard. They are making self-inserts based on identity politics of the characters and destroying these brands at the end of the day. They're destroying comic shops and people's businesses. And uh, Mark Miller is just showing he's a consummate professional who cares about the retailer. Really good stuff. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.